Happy Wednesday. Yeah, you don't need your shoes, really. You don't, I'm wearing them, but I'll probably end up taking them off. You don't need um, heavy weights, just a light set of weights. Hi, Sin. So we're starting um, hands and knees. Tuck your toes underneath you. And just dip your belly and arch your back. So we'll have a lightweight ball and band workout. Chin to chest, round your back. You can take the top of your foot, chin down. And again, you don't need shoes today. Um, you're more than welcome to wear them or take them off at any time. Tuck your toes, dip your belly, arch your back. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, extend your spine, broaden your collarbones. Exhale, round and curl. And then come back to neutral and just start to make some circles. Let's just get a little juice into our joints this morning. So if you're not on your knees, your, your hands can be holding onto your bench, or you can stay upright and do this on your, you know, hands on your thighs, and then reverse. And just push back to a child's pose with your toes tucked under. Hi, Sin. Good. And then come back to your hands and knees. Keep the toes tucked as you hover your knees off the floor. Exhale, lower your knees, sit back to your heels. Inhale, come back up, hands and knees, tuck your toes, hover. Exhale down, sit back to child's pose. Just Let's just do two more like that. Hover, knees down, sit back. And this last one will hold the hover and take this into a cat and cow position. So a couple cat cows here in a hovering tabletop. Round and curl. Three, <clears throat> two, and one. Bring the knees back down, sit back in child's pose. Stretch your arms over to the right side. and up and over to the left side. Good, now if you have a light weight, and by light I mean two or five pounds, take it into your right hand. You can lay on your belly, you can do this on your back, or um, I'm doing it on hands and knees, so it's alternating bird dogs. Weight in the right hand, left leg behind you, toes tuck. Right arm, left leg lift up and down. So. My hand is on the weight, my thumb is pointing up. Three, two, one, go for eight of these. Same side. Seven. You can lighten up the weight, you can get rid of the weight. Six, right? Five, so thumb is up, shoulder is up. Five, four, three, two, one more. Arm down, leg down. Change sides. So take the weight over to your left side right leg behind you. Try to stay level in your hips. That's the part of the deal here. All right, pick it up in three, two, one, eight, seven, six. Notice how much stability your core has to work with, or four. Three more, three, two, one more. One, good, extend it, or bring it back to your right side. All right, take your right arm up and open and tap it down to the floor. So we're working mobility, stability, core, two. You can do the standing, three. So have a light enough weight that you can bring the arm really straight up over your shoulder if that were the case. Four more, take your time. Three more, two more times, one more time. One of the things, you know, you might not want to do this with a heavier weight in terms of your um, shoulder joint. Other hand, three, two, one, all the way up and down, all the way up and down. Good, three. So we're just getting a little rotation in the torso. Hips kind of stay level. Four more. Four. Three. Last two times. One more time. And put it down. 
Good. Once again, go back to a child's pose. Stretch your arms out, stretch your hips out. And then come back onto your hands and knees. Take a ball behind your right knee. Where's Rosemary? I can't see what you're doing. Okay, good. Yeah, you can do that. Come to your forearms, everybody. Rosemary, too. Come to your forearms. Tuck your left toes underneath you. Lift your right leg in the air. Knee in line with your hip. Drop the right hip parallel to the floor. So the hip, the pelvis is even. Flex your foot. And then just tap your knee down to the floor. Ready? Let's go. All right, leg up one and down. Two, pull the belly in. Try not to create a ski slope in your back. Three, four, five, six, seven. We're holding up on eight. Eight pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it up, one, kick your heel to your buttocks, slow. Kick, 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 kick. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, hold it on, eight, eight. Bring the knee to the chest, round curl, you're on your forearms. Kick it back up, one, two, round and curl. Three, try to keep the hips level. Four, five, six, seven, one more, and eight, bring it down, good, take your weight behind, your heels behind you, arms out on the ball, put the pinky edges of your hands on the ball, And then as you come back up, round your back, draw the ball a little closer, extend your spine now. So come now back to a tabletop, round and curl your spine, extend it out, three, so it's like a crunch, four, you can do this on your bench, just roll the ball with you, five, six, one more, hi, eight, come back in. Do you have a um, small ball? If not, a block even, or just your body. Take the ball behind your left knee. We're all going onto our forearms. So I don't know what you have there, Laura, but tuck your right toes under. You can do this without any weight. You can actually put a weight behind your knees. All right, left leg in the air, hips are square. Look, I'm a poet. And take it down for eight, up, seven, six, belly in, five, four, three, two. We're gonna hold this last one up. One, and pulse it up for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold it up, one, kick your heel to your butt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold the squeeze, eight, round and curl, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, Try to keep level in your hips, your back. Three more. Two. One more. Bring your knees down. Take your ball in front of you. Sit on your heels. Come to the pinky edges of your fingers on the ball of your hand. And then again, come back up. Extend your spine, roll the ball out. And then bring the ball in, cat and cow, again on the ball with your fingers, thumbs up to the ceiling. Two, three, good, four, no tension in the neck and shoulders, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Good, 
sit back on your heels. Take the ball now, in between your two feet. So somewhere in between your inner foot, right? Uh, row, just do push-ups on the bench. All right, everybody come forward onto your knees, shoulders on top of wrists. The ball is between your feet. You can, Rosemary, you can put the ball between your thighs and stretch your legs out. Eight push-ups, here we go. Eight, the dog thinks it's time to play. <laughs> Two, three, squeeze the ball between your feet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, sit back. Take the ball out, put it in between your hands. Actually, you know, you might wanna even put a weight there to stop the ball from moving. Take your hands back exactly where they were before. All right, my ball doesn't wanna to stay today. All right, hinge forward. <laughs> Touch your chest to the ball in three. You can have your feet back up, two, one. So same thing, whatever you did before, do now. Two, touch the ball, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, back to child's pose. All right, you can move those weights out of the way. And then take yourself into a downward facing dog. So come and just leave the ball for a second. Lift your hips in the air. And then bring the ball back behind the right knee. So it's a little tricky just to get the ball in there. Then bring your hands back on the floor. Flex your right foot. So again, against the bench is the same thing. You can bend your left leg a little bit. From here, we're going to bring the knee all the way into the chest. Not into a plank, just into a dog and then kick the leg back up in the air. Two round and curl. So stay in your downward dog. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold it in, pulse it, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to plank. Lower your knees. Take the ball. You know, this is probably an easier way to try this. Put the ball already behind your left leg. Then tuck your toes for downward facing dog. And again, if you don't have a ball today, who cares? You could put a weight there, but um, you can also just use body weight. Right. Come up. Left leg in the air. Hips squared, knee to chest, round curl one. Lift up, two, three, chest towards your thighs, four, five, six, seven, holding in eight, eight pulses, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come back center, plank, knees down on the floor, release the ball, Ooh, sit back on your heels, all right, and then let's roll up, you can move the mats off to the side for a little bit, take your um, weights away from the side, move it all, we'll come back to that, if you'd like to put a band on now, put a band on, above your knees, okay? You could do it a little bit lower if you'd like, just not on a joint, all right? So send the, we, uh, send the band up above your legs. Grab, you're gonna have light weights in your hands. All right, so I'm, you know, I'm sticking with the light weights today. Just have your ball off to the side for now. We're gonna take the legs wide, and you may be restricted again by your band uh, tension, right? Which is fine. All right, take your arms up shoulder height, bend your knees, 
So your hips are open, your shoulders are open, right? So we're gonna plie squat, bring the arms in and out. Ready? Three, two, one. Bring it in, one, two, three. Sit down as low as your body will allow. Four, five, six. As you lower down, let move, move your knees out. One more. Eight, now stay down, push it overhead. One, two, three, four. Your knees are bent. Three, three, two, one. Bring it down, stand up, release your arms. All right, so bring the arms back up for a combination. Arms up, elbow height. We're gonna plie, come back up, plie, arms overhead. Three, two, go. One, two, 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 three, three, four, five, these are the days I always say, I'm so glad I'm using light weights. Two more. One more. Good, stay down in the plie, bend your arms, and then tilt your torso forward, actually turn your toes forward, and just hinge arms forward and back. One, down, two, three, four, so you're just hinging from your shoulders. Six, yeah, seven like the scarecrow. Eight, the arms don't straighten at all. And relax, roll your shoulders back and forth. All right, come back to your plie, bring your hands together this time. Elbows can be in by your side for now. Drop your seat down, lift your right heel up, and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold it down, one, lower the heel. Oh, Lauren, two screens. Left heel up, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, I gotcha. Four, three, two, one. Heels down, straighten your legs for a moment, and then re-bend with both heels, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here, arms up and down. Eight, seven, balance. If you can't balance, put your heels down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Stand up, good. Just keep your legs down, legs open, arms back. We're gonna go back to that scarecrow position but staying upright this time. Three, two, one, arms down. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Turn your toes forward, one. Bend over, pull your elbows back, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, good combination. Arms down, hinge forward, squeeze, stand up. Arms up, here we go. One, go. One, squeeze back, stand up. Two, squeeze back, stand up. Three, stand up. Four, squeeze it. Five, six, seven, one more, eight, Stand up, bring your arms down. Good, bring your hands underneath your chin. You can go back to a little bit wider squat than neutral, but not plie, so like a sumo squat. Bend your knees, take your arms overhead again, but with a circuit, so an Arnold press really, a semicircular motion. Three, two, one, all the way up. You can straighten and bend the legs. Three, as low as you want. Four, as high as you need. Five, six, 
seven. Hold the last one up for me. Eight. Pull down right, left, right, left, right, left, four. Good. Five. Squeeze your shoulders together. Six. Two more. Seven. Eight. Put both arms up and bring them both together down. Eight more. Seven. Six. Squeeze your shoulders together. Five. Four. Three. One more. And bring it down. Roll your shoulders back and around. Stretch out your neck. Feel any tension. All right. Take your feet about hips width apart. Right hand is going to come up to your chest and it's going to extend to the side as the leg does the same thing. So tap the leg out and bring it in. The standing leg stays stable. We bend the knee, we stay into the bend of the knee. Sit back towards your heel. All right, you can also, you can sit down and tap from the, from the seat. All right, so weight into your left leg, like we're gonna start a single leg squat. Right arm, right leg, and three, two, go. Here we go, eight, Seven. Now sit low into your left leg. Three, four, five, six. We're just tapping. Seven, eight, other side. So we're just tapping the floor, but you can lift your leg off the floor if you want. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now alternating with both arms. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, stay low. Three, two, one. Rest for a second. Roll your shoulders back and around. Good. All right. Back to the same thing, a little bit straighter on this time. So check out your weights. Make sure they're a little bit um, on the lighter side so your shoulder joint is not compromised. Sit back again, nice and low. Maybe a little lower, second round. Right hand holds the weight. Three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, done correctly. Weight in your left heel. Keep the knee bent at the, the leg that you're standing on. Three, don't move through your body. Two, and one to the other side. Sit low. Lauren, those look like heavier weights. Good for you. Three, I know it's probably all you have for. It's okay, do what you gotta do. Five, six, Seven, both arms, one leg at a time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll your shoulders back and around. All righty. Take your arms by your side. Bend your knees, tailbone tucks underneath you. And then if you'd like to, raise up onto your toes. As long as when you do that, that you're not either going back with your torso this way, or you're not um, bringing your knees further past your ankles, all right? So sit down, maybe raise up, right arm comes up shoulder height, left arm comes up. All right, keep going. One, two, three. Come on your toes, four, five, Six, seven, two arms, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels if they're not. Good job, okay. Take your arms together. Once again, bend your knees. So our hips are neutral here. We've had them turned out for a while. We're bringing them back to neutral. Bend your knees, sit behind your heels. It doesn't have to be low. On your toes if you want. If not, three, two, one, arms up, elbows bent, good. All right, upright row eight, seven, six, five, four, elbows higher than shoulders, three, two, one, lower your heels, zip it up all the way overhead. Bend your knees, zip it up all the way overhead. 
two, three, four. Yeah, I'm keeping my weights together, but you don't have to. Five, six, seven. Stay on your toes. Arms up. Eight. Hold it here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring the arms down. Circle in front of your hips. Palms face you. Thumbs face each other. Take the arms out and up. So with this rotation of the shoulder, light weights. If you don't have light weights, um, go only shoulder height or go overhead only. Three, four, five, ooh, four, six, seven, one more. Eight, ooh, roll it around. All right, all right, all right, all right. So put your um, weights down for a moment. Take your band off, but keep it with you. And then grab your ball again. Or are we going back to the bands? Uh, maybe. Let's see. You might do a band and a ball. All right, so put the ball now all the way up between your thighs. Squeeze it hard again. If you don't have a ball, just imagine that you do. Bring the arms with a band. If you don't have a band, a small towel works well. Um, you won't have as much. Oh, you have it. Um, if you don't have a small band, though, a towel is great. So bring your arms up over your head. Bend your knees. Sit your weight back. So like you're sitting into a chair. You can chair pose. And bring the arms. Pull them down. And to shoulder height. Squeeze your shoulder blades together to do that. Three. Two, go. Eight, squeeze. Seven. Six. Five, keep resistance on the band. Four. Three. Two more. Hold it down, one. Squeeze your shoulders together, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, release it. Take the band down by your right side. Bend your arm and bring it in and out. So it's a little bit of a, start with the palm up and then you can rotate it or just pull it down and in. Hold it right at your waistline. Three, two, and one. Eight, seven, create the resistance, six, so if your band doesn't have a lot of resistance, if not, you're working with weight. Three, two, one. Let's go to the other side. Pop open, three, two, go. So you create the resistance by pulling the right, right hand against the band as well as the left, right? Because the band doesn't really, doesn't have resistance, it's nothing. Three, two, one. Now do the same thing, but turn your palm back. All right, so pull from your hip, turn the palm back. A little bit more of a tricep. Bend your knees again like your chair pose. Three, two, go. Eight, seven. You're pulling with your left hand against resistance. Four, five, six, seven. Other side. Palm is facing, your left palm is facing backwards. Three, two, go. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, one more. Good. Now take the band behind your back, slide your wrist in it above your wrist. Seems to be the hardest thing we're doing so far. All right. Hinge forward. Take your arms apart and in with a little lift behind your hips. In three, two, go. Eight, apart and up. Two, three, four. So like the resistance we created before. Five, six, seven. Hold it back. Eight, lift it up and down. So just keep the resistance there. Seven, six, five, four. Keep resistance. Three, two, one. Come up. Bring the band out in front of you, above your wrists below your elbows, thumbs up. Back into chair pose, three, two, 
Open up your arms. Pulse it. Seven. Six. Five. Never let the band go slack. Four. Three. Two. Hold it out. One. Lift your arms up straight up. And down. Keep the resistance on the band. Two. Good. And straight down. Three. Four. Slow, slow. Five. Six. Seven. Hold it up overhead. Eight. Pull it apart. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let it go. Roll your shoulders. All right. Take the band off. Take the ball out. Come back down to your hands and knees. We'll make any adjustments we need. All right. So back to your hands and knees. Take the ball behind your um, knee, or you can, you can possibly some of you have the band above your knee. Um, it's gonna, you know, re, uh, it's going to create a little resistance on the movement, right? Especially if it's um, a very tight band. But you don't need the band here at all. You don't need the ball here at all. Come onto your left leg. Take your right leg and make circles up and around. All right, so start with your right leg. Move the circle forward, up, back, and around. Two. We're only gonna go four in one direction, four in the other direction. So reverse this. Four. Three. Two, now hold it up one, lower the knee down. Eight, down, seven, six, five, four, three, one more. Good, put it down, sit back, stretch child's pose, back to the child's pose release. Come back to your hands and knees, fall behind the left knee, We'll start with the four hip circles in one direction, four in the other direction, right toes tucked under. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, reverse it. Four, three, two, hold it up on one, eight, up and down, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Push it back, push it back, push it back. All right, all the way. Come on up to a seated position. Take your light weights, have your bands, take your ball, place the ball behind the small of your back, Grab some water. Light weights. Oops. Got my ball soaking wet. Okay. So when you lean against the ball, I call it pancaking when you put all your body weight on it and it flattens out. It shouldn't flatten out. It shouldn't burst, right? These are burst resistance if you're at home and you don't have one. Let me know. All right. Sit up. So we're not scooping out here. But we're not overly arching. We're just at a nice, here's 90 degrees, come back a couple of degrees. Take your arms up to your chest, punch across your body, side to side, without moving your hips in three, two, go, one, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold the weights into your chest, lean back, and lift up again. A small range of motion, two, three, but creating tension in the entire center of your body, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sit up. Put the ball in between your knees, sit up tall. This time we're going to punch, punch, and roll down to the floor. 
come all the way back up and punch, punch. If rolling down doesn't work, go back to the ball behind your back and stay up and do your punches, okay? And if you don't have a ball, stay up and do punches. All right, two punches, three, two, go. One, two, roll down, one. Roll up, punch, punch, two. Three, try to change the lead arm of your punch. Four, squeeze the ball between your knees, that'll help. Five, six, seven, and eight. Sit up, move your shoulders around. All right, um, let's just do this right now. Take the ball out for a second. Straddle your legs. It doesn't have to be a big show. I mean, maybe as wide as your mat. And maybe knees are bent. One or two weights to your chest. Press them up overhead and bring them behind your head. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Now, add on to this. Bring your arms to your chest. Round your back to come down. Come up, sit up, push up one. And bring it down. And again, if you're not doing the, push, the sit ups, just go. keep going in the upper body part. Three. Four. Round your back. Five. Six, you got your belly. Ooh. Seven. Eight. And bring it in. All right. All right. Come back onto your hands and knees. Actually, don't come back to your hands and knees. Come back to your side. Take the ball in between your calves. Okay, so the further away the ball is from your center, the more challenging it is even just balance-wise. So it's either between your thighs, between your calves, or between your feet. Any or all of the above are good. Lie down on your arm or support your head. Hips are set. So instead of rolling back, which is just kind of where your body probably wants to go, bring your um, hips on top of each other. So take your two left hand peace fingers right onto your bottom ribs, see if you've got space there, so no collapsing. And you can have your hands down, lift the legs together, three, two, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, you're gonna hold it up on one, three, two, hold it up on one, squeeze the ball between your legs, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to hold it there, bend the knees, good. Lift, lower, seven, six, five, keep squeezing the ball, four, three, two, hold it up one, pulse it together. Just squeeze, squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your knees forward, good. Now, take the ball out for a moment. Lift your top leg up, extend it out, bring it in and bring it down. Here we go, up, out, in, down. Two, out, good, we're on sidelines then. Three, down, four, down, five, down, six, keep the hip height. Down seven, down eight, hold it up on eight, straight the leg, kick towards your face, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it in, sit up. Take your left leg around your right leg and hug the knee to the chest. Okay, one more little thing. Undo this left leg, bring the ball behind the left knee. Sit up in a mermaid position. 
right hand can be outside on the floor. It can be in your hands in prayer. It can be on your thigh, wherever it feels right. Lean a little bit to the right side as you float the left leg off the floor. Knee in line with the hip, knee in line with the ankle. Lift it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up on one, kick it back behind you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it back, hip circles forward. Two, three, hip circles back. Four, three, two, one, hold it up, take the ball out, and once again, cross it, get a little stretch. Yeah. Come back to the center, left leg behind you again, ball in the right hand, turn yourself over to the right side, roll out, also stretch through the left side body, come back up, reach out, try not to put all of your weight on your ball, one more time, hold it out, And then take your left arm up, over, right arm up, over, and take yourself onto your left side. Let's make you even. Lay down shoulder, hip, knees, and ankles. Put the ball anywhere between your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles. Lay down on your arm, you can support your head. Legs on top of each other, so not rolling backwards so the hip point, bone points up. The hip are pointing towards your right side. Both legs up together, three, two, go. Eight, seven, you might notice one side goes a little higher, six, five, or just has a little bit more movement. Three, two, hold it up on one, squeeze the ball in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, bend the knees, good. Lift up and down, up, down, two, Three, squeeze the ball, four, five, six, seven, hold, squeeze, pulse between your legs, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, legs down, bring your legs forward, come up to your forearms, I don't know if I did this on the forearms, I will stay here, all right, we're going to take, we're going to lift the ball up, we stay down, two, three, four, five, six, I'm not sure we did this on the other side, seven, Eight, so come back up to your forearm. Take the ball out. Right leg, top leg, lift up. Extend out and down. Up, extend out and down. Three, extend out and down. Four, and down. Five, six, seven. Stay with the knee in the line with the hip. Eight, hold it out, kick it forward. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, one more, and down. All right, sit up. Take your right leg around. Give it a little stretch just for the moment. We go back one more set. And then come back to center. Take the ball behind the right knee. Lean a little to the left side, but don't put your body weight down. Just a little for stability. All right, right leg in line with the hip. Lift it up and down, three, two, and go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, any of the efforts. Three, two, hold it up on one, kick behind you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it back, circle forward. Four, three, two, reverse it. One, two, three, and four. Bring the leg back around, take the ball out, give it a nice little stretch. Your outer hip, your obliques. And then bring the right leg back behind you into that mermaid. Take your ball to the left side, roll out, roll back in, roll out, roll back in, roll out, stay there. Take your right arm up, come back up, lean over, and come back in. All right, so I know some of you have to leave. I'm going to give you one ab exercise on your back. 
If you have to leave, um, I get it, but we'll do that in a stretching. So come back onto your back, lift your hips up, put your ball underneath your legs, uh, no, I'm sorry, underneath your sacrum. Legs up, 90 degrees, up and down. Arm, let's start one arm leg at a time. You can keep the other arm down so you feel stable. So right arm, left leg are gonna go down, same leg. You can also put your right leg on the floor. So extend the arm leg. We did this um, on our on the floor early, early on. You can extend the left leg. Six, seven, eight. Now lower your left leg. Take your hands behind your head. Lift your head and shoulders up. Seven. You can also hover the left leg off the floor. Five, five, four, three, two, one, legs down, head down, last thing. Left leg up, right leg up. Right arm can stay down, left arm is up. Right leg and left arm, let's go. Eight, seven, six, try not to arch your back. Five, four, three, yeah, it's like you're on the ball. Two, hold the last one out, one. Lower your right leg, hands behind your head, lift your torso, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold your head and shoulders up, lift your legs up, balance, woo, maybe not balance, hold your head and shoulders up, 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 lower your head, shoulders down, extend your legs all the way up. Woo, good job everybody. Right knee to your chest, left leg all the way out. Hug your right knee in with one or both hands, excuse me. So lower the left leg down, feel the little release in your psoas, left side. And then extend your right leg in the air, flex point, roll the ankle in one direction, then the next. Hug the knee back to your chest. We could go on forever with these exercises, switch legs. You know, there's just so many things we could do. But we got enough in. Extend the leg up, flex point. Roll the ankle. And then bring the knees in. Bring both knees in. And then stretch both legs out on the floor. Make sure the ball is like under your sacrum so there's a little bit of an arch. Stretch your arms over your head. Reach long, long, long. Soften your glutes. Let them just fall down over the ball. And then reach as far as you can on the emptying breath. Bend your knees, feet on the floor. Release your arms, lift your hips up. Articulate down. Bring the knees to your chest and take your hips right, twist to the left. Nice spinal release. Inhale through the center, hips over to the left, knees fall over to the right. Inhale, return to center. Exhale, rock and roll yourself to a seated position. You can move the ball up to the side, take a big breath in, and bring your hands down to your heart, bow to yourselves. Thank you so much for showing up, for doing the work, and for staying with it. Happy last day of May. There's no more fun music for me to do. There's no more fun May the 1st, 4th, and 5th. Stay home safe and stay healthy.